Hi, uh, I'm Lee. I am a software engineering manager at Spotify, and I am an end user sponsor of Backstage. Uh, Backstage is our open uh, developer platform that we have. Uh, and you might ask, what's a developer platform or, or why do we have that? The easiest way to talk about it is to talk about the complexity. Um, as an engineer many years ago, I, I kind of, I could do my role by having an IDE, by having a website open and uh, a, a command line. And that was all of the tools that I needed. Today, fast forward to today, it's so much more complex. If you go and look at a, a, what an engineer actually does, they probably have 30 different tabs open with different tools, focused on infrastructure, focused on cloud providers, focused on CI, CD, or any of these other complex tooling. And it means, en as engineers, there is an ever-increasing learning curve. There is an ever-increasing knowledge base that they need to be up-to-date and relevant with. And this is where Backstage comes in. Because trying to keep all of that information in your head, trying to understand all of these different tools and to context switch, I'm focusing on this thing, now I'm focusing on that, now I'm gonna go and focus on this piece over here. It's really difficult. So what Backstage does is it tries to be a single pane of glass. Doesn't try and take away any of that tooling, doesn't try and take away any of that complexity. But what it does do is try to surface the right information at the right time in the context that you're working in. A single place you can go. So I have my IDE, I have Backstage open. Maybe I have a, a command line open too. The way Backstage works is, Backstage is, is, is a platform in the truest sense. It is extensible. It is not all owned by one single team. There is a team that supports the platform for sure, but the experts, the experts um, own the plugins and own the tools and things that integrate into Backstage. So as one example, there is a Kubernetes plugin, a Kubernetes tool that you can use and you can get information from. That is owned by the Kubernetes team at Spotify, the experts. We try and think about Backstage in three different ways, create, manage and explore. To create, so the ability to create a piece of software, a service, a component, without having to think about all of the standards or all of the technical things that go in there. Should it have GDPR compliance? What are the security requirements? Instead, all you do is fill in a template. You fill in a template and it generates a service for you. Those templates are created by the experts, again, at your organization. And then as a, on a day-to-day -day as an engineer, I just need to fill in a form and I know that best practices are built in. That's creation. For manage, we have the software catalog. The software catalog is a central inventory of all of the services and components at your organization. And connected to them are all of the plugins. So you can go and look at a single service and then get all of the relevant plugins and information that you need to operate on that service. CICD, maybe it's documentation, um, all different kinds of things. And the software catalog surfaces it in one place. You can easily go and see the, the, who the owners are and reach out and contact people if you need. And you can see who consumes or uses and what the dependencies are of services. That's manage. Then for explore, we have things like tech docs. We want to have a place where you can go and find all the relevant information that you need. Documentation oftentimes ends up in places like Confluence or in Google Docs or all over the place. Spotify is just as guilty as that as everybody else. With Tech Docs, you can put the documentation relevant to the service that you have right next to the code that you have in that service. It's saved as Markdown and then surfaced as a panel view in the catalog next to the services that you have. So that's Backstage. It's a place that tries to reduce the cognitive load around engineering. It tries to surface things as a single pane of glass, a one shop stop where you can go and look at stuff. It provides relevant tooling, APIs, and frameworks to support the work that you're doing. And it tries to present everything in a uh, consistent design so that you are not having to uh, go and switch and think about all of the different tools and bits and pieces that you have.